in most times we hear cases of uh, difficulties and complications uh, pregnant women passes through during labor time some finds it difficult to you know have a safe delivery some even don't have the strength of you know delivering uh, the child themselves they had to undergo uh, a cesarean section and so on and so forth uh, these issues normally arises based on two factors the first factor could be that uh, the lady right from the you know pregnancy meaning in the initial stages of the pregnancy she may have um, developed uh, with what we call gestational uh, high blood pressure meaning the high blood pressure what will rise up uh, so due to this uh, when they don't take good care of themselves they don't attend um, maternity you know sessions they don't eat well normally they tend to suffer during childbirth that is why most of them normally go through the cesarean you know um, session some too naturally they are they are born with a very narrowed pelvic bone so women who tend to have narrowed pelvic bone uh, finds it extremely difficult to give birth themselves so uh, if they are going to give birth they always have to pass through cesarean session so if for instance in their lifetime they will give birth to let's say five children uh, they have to undergo you know a cs throughout those you know uh, childbirth the five child childbirth you understand sometimes doctors even uh, pray or doctors even advise uh, that they don't give birth or they don't get pregnant again after a certain number of childbirth through cs maybe from four you know childbirth going uh, most professional doctors expect doctors normally pray or normally advise that uh, you the pregnant woman who is going through that that should not get pregnant again so these are the two factors that normally leads to complications during labor time now someone will say why am i speaking these you know long medical jargons i am speaking you know these jargons not because of anything but to bring to you uh, something that you can use as a lady uh, to induce labor i know of most women or most pregnant women uh, the, the the placenta will burst and then the fluid will come out and it will take them it will take them three days four days five days before the proper child birth begin begins or the labor begins but under normal circumstance anytime the 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 placenta fluid begins to drop out or begins to come out automatically uh, child delivery should what should should should, should follow but now at this due to some of these factors i just mentioned earlier the placenta fluid will come sometimes one week before the child birth what will follow up so if you are a woman or if you are a man and you are watching me and you don't want your 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 wife to go through this kind of ordeal uh, i am in today's video going to give you the perfect solution and the solution is this you see this leaf this one i don't need to even mention the name because as you have been my uh ardent you know follower and subscriber you must have known this already this is cassava leaves cassava leaves uh manuhot esculenta that is the 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 the, the scientific name of cassava manuhot esculenta manuhot esculenta if you are a woman or if you have a wife who is pregnant or if you have a pregnant wife home who is in her seventh or eighth month and you don't want her to have or experience any complication whatsoever during childbirth please from eight months going you can ask her to start boiling this and be drinking as her normal tea just 
a normal tea. She won't add anything. She should be drinking this as her normal tea. Okay, one teacup in the one cup teacup in the morning, one teacup in the evening, and she will be good to go. If care is not even taken, on the day of her delivery, she might end up having her delivery in whatever car you people are taking her when the labor you know begins. She is going to have a very smooth delivery, a very smooth, uncomplicated delivery. And she is going to give birth, you know, herself. Because there won't be any difficulty. Even though naturally, childbirth is extremely painful. You know, our mothers will tell you. You understand. There is no, you know, simple childbirth. No, 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 no. No woman has ever given simple, you know, child, childbirth. Childbirth, you know, is something difficult. So if it is toppled with complications that makes it extremely you know difficult that is why most women uh, who can't take the pain anymore sometimes they lose their lives so it is it is painful very very painful so if you want the child birth to become more you know smooth with less complications please cassava leaves there are other you know plants there are other herbs like castor leaves castor seed oil and others they, they also you know have possess this same you know um property or this same function but the simple one you can be using you know as a pregnant woman or you can be giving your wife who is pregnant and who is in her seventh to eighth month okay as soon as the wife enters the seventh eight month you can begin to introduce the cassava leaves come come forward for them to see come we have two types of cassava leaves uh, but majority uh, the major ones or the the popular ones among the cassava leaves is the red strips one mm. so the red one you can see it has a red strips okay yes but it doesn't matter if you have the green strips one perfect if you have the red one like this two perfect meaning any cassava leaf is good to go huh? you can just pick few of them mm, maybe few leaves about seven or ten leaves at a go okay yes that is why i always tell you that make sure you always get uh, you always um do a backyard farming you can see this this is the house let show them the house so you can see this is the house and this is the backyard farming okay so the person has done a backyard farming. So such a person will no longer buy cassava at the market again because uh, the person has been able to plant cassava and then has been able to also plant um, plantain. So such a person will no longer uh, be, be bothered uh, as far as cassava you know, is concerned. So backyard farming is very good you understand so we have to we have to do that so some of these herbs when you grow them at your backyard it goes to help you uh, so every morning she will just come and pick maybe a few of the leaves seven nine of the leaves wash it very nicely put it in your silver or in your cooking pot then you pour onto it about 600 ml of water and then you boil it after boiling it for 15 minutes, you put it on fire and then you start drinking it as a pregnant woman. Very, very powerful. And let me use this opportunity to also advise, you know, up and coming pregnant women. The very day you will be announced or you will be diagnosed of, you know, being pregnant, my brother, my sister, you, my brother, listen to this and tell your wife or your future wife, you, my sister, put this at the back of your mind the very day you will be diagnosed being pregnant i want you to stop eating these three foods the first food is egg the second food is milk and then the third food is sugar these three things stop them stop them and see whether you experience any complications during the pregnancy there are a lot of women when they 
get pregnant right from the beginning of the pregnancy all the way to the last day, it is a hell for them. They will suffer as if they are giving birth to Satan. Yes, it is only, you know, <laughs> because they will be suffering. They will be suffering and suffering from fair, right from the first month, the second month, the third month. The, they will be having issues upon issues upon issues throughout the pregnancy. So, and some of these things occur as a result of poor diet. Okay, as a pregnant woman, uh, bear in mind that you are bringing out another life. Therefore, there are certain things you must not do. Okay, yes, certain lifestyle you must not do. You must not, you know, smoke if you are a smoker. In fact, if you are a chain smoker, addict, you are addicted to smoking. The moment you are diagnosed of pregnancy or being pregnant, you have to do away with smoking. Alcoholism. Don't, don't drink alcohol if you are pregnant and so on and so forth. Then check your diet and check your life. Well, you understand? So this is something little I would like to, you know, show you. Go and practice it and then see how best we can do if you have any suggestion you can just leave it at the comment area like this video copy the link and share to your friends your family and people around you and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please kindly do so and then you click on to the notification bell and select all so that next time we bring you videos like this you'll be the very first person to get notified i'll see you in the next one have a nice day